hug into the U. Take up the staff and it's a USB as well. Okay, test, test, test. Okay. Uh, on train. Or to altitude. Are you guys put it on alt on this, um? Um, you know what? That's a new FAA thing. Oh, really? Yeah, they want, uh, when you're taxiing around, uh, the airport, they want your transponder to altitude. Okay. I wonder how that works in the G-1000, because on, on Diamonds, they, uh, they arm themselves. Oh, really? Well, certain... yeah, if it's on auto, I think that's okay. Okay. Um, I got now. Five, A's. Ceiling 2100 overcast, temperature 22.17, altimeter 2992. VOR Alpha approach in use, landing runway 19er. Be advised the Pomona VOR is out of service. Oh, great. Advise on initial contact, information Alpha. Pomona Airport Information Alpha, 16520, wind 220 at 3, visibility 5, A's. Ceiling 2100 overcast, temperature 22.17, altimeter 2992. VOR Alpha approach in use, land. I was gonna wake up early, come in, fly one of the diamonds, and get IFR current. I didn't wake up. <laughs> oh well. Good thing I didn't because the phone of VOR is out of service. Yeah. How am I gonna get back in here? I don't know. Okay, that's is the there some other VOR? No, that's the VOR that we use. Where the uh, instrument approach? Hold so. Well, I could use the other VOR approach that goes all the way to the uh, over by Burbank. So here is the screen. See what we get. And that's why I was wondering. You know, a day like this, a lot of IFR pilots would just go up flying. And that's probably why it's pretty dead, because that VOR is out. Yeah. Yeah, it is totally dead out here. We're probably the first customer. Um, no, but maybe the second. Yeah. And probably going to be the first person in the pattern. Boy, it is. on a ground, Light Sport 996 Charlie Tango at SoCal, taxi for takeoff with Alpha. Light Sport 996 Charlie Tango, Monty Ground, one one nine, taxi for Alpha. Taxi for Alpha, runway one minor, Light Sport 6 Charlie Tango. The right side's clear. It's so funny. And I was, uh, I was gonna take this to cable for, um, for maintenance. They, um, it was a, it was a very gusty day. It was very windy, it was very yeah. gusty. and it gets really gusty. And they have the wind socks going in two different directions. Oh, yeah, here? Yeah. Over there, too. Oh. Anyway, I was... I called up, I asked for a taxi. Uh, Tara was like, I like to take a giant tango, V advised, the winds are... 15, gusting of 18. <laughs> I was like, I know. Yep. They're used to me. Yeah, Josh and I went in there once, uh, and we were doing 
What was the plan? I think it was just a, a flight to Cable, but uh, it was 9 to 12 gusting up to... Uh. It's like, oh. Oh, man. That was one of those flights where Josh is like, okay, look, the turbulence is not going to hurt you. Check this out. And he's, you know, kind of letting it settle. Like, I'm not liking this. Yeah. <clears throat> I hate bumps, too. Yeah, but sometimes what most people do wrong is like, you know, you get bumped, right? We emphasize on positive uh, control of the airplane. So if your wing goes up, control it. Put that wing back down. But yeah. if it's, that's just if you hit one bump. Yeah. If it's bumpy and the plane's like doing its thing, just yeah. let it do it. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what it was doing. Just hold the stick as steady as you can and don't try to control it. Yeah. Yeah, you point it out and uh, I mean, it makes perfect sense. It's going to right itself. Yeah. It's, you just got to... It's down. inherently stable. Yep. You just have to be patient and let it do that, but... Unless, of course, it's bad enough that it'll flip you over. But you wouldn't be flying in those conditions anyway. No, uh, I mean, you know, any day is a bumpy day, so to a certain extent, flying this, oh. you just get used to it. There's our new CFIs. I know, I met them. You Good met like nice guys. <laughs> well, one of them is going to be here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you abandoning me? Well, you know the progression, right? What's that? It's always the new guy gets the CT. Josh was the new guy. Yeah, then, you're the new guy. And then I'm the new guy. And it looks like I'm, mo I'm moving on up. Okay, brakes pull and latch, doors closed and latched, controls free, correct? Wait, here's a better question. What are they doing at the maintenance with their airplane jacked up? They're there with Gil. I don't know why. <laughs> they he took the him over there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Choke is off, circuit breaker. Oil temp, the red line. Voltmeter is charging. One minute. Uh, I don't. Thousand. Repeat. Verify off. Autopilot. Complete. Yes, doing anything with radios or that. That. Or. Off. Okay. Doors and windows closed and latched. Landing light is not on. Transponder is at altitude. Lapse is required. Start with a nice normal takeoff. Alright. Okay. So it's been running good? Yeah. That's terrific. And it should be smooth today. Good. It's so weird to have nothing going on on the radio. This is like the perfect time to go solo. Yeah. If it wasn't for the overcast. El Monte Tower, Light Sport Niner Niner 6 Charlie Tango, holding short of 1 Niner at Bravo for right close traffic. Light Sport Niner Niner 6 Charlie Tango, Monte Tower, right close traffic approved, 1 Variable at 5, runway 1 Niner, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 1 Niner, Light Sport Niner Niner 6 Charlie Tango, good morning. Okay, approach hands clear. Alright, nobody on final, nobody on the runway. Good morning. 
That's delayed. I like him. Uh, the Raja guy? Yeah. Have you visited our tower? I have. He's a cool guy. They're all cool. They meet okay. rich. Get it on. Fine. There you go. Throttle to full. Engine instruments in the green. Airspeed's alive. And I'm supposed to tell you, you take a mental snapshot of this. Okay. So when you're coming to land, you're looking for that. All right. County Fire 12 is Rose Bowl, 210 East for transition. County Fire 12, Monty Tower, transition approved via Montel Timeter. 2-liner, line of 2, doing 2,100 overcast, I'll be hitting 1,600 at Ident. Climbing out at 78. 292 at Ident, County Fire 12. Light 4, 6 Charlie Tango, runway 1-liner, option approved. Clear for the option, runway 1-9er, light like support 6 Charlie Tango. Already? <laughs> Never got you cleared that quickly. I have. As soon as my wheels departed, the, got off the ground, he's like, you're clear to land. Like, cool, I can come back down. Riders are still pretty stiff. Yeah, because it's, they changed the uh, connections. Yeah. So it'll behave like a new airplane. Going a little close. Yeah, that's fine. This is actually good. Six hundred. Last of it. Pitching for sixty. You could have kept the power and just play with the nose. Yeah. But it takes the the power, the RPMs, to a little bit to slow down, so... Yeah. I have to kind of keep an eye on that. Because the reason why it creeps up on you is because you start your descent, then yeah. the prop spins faster. Right. And if you get your nose up to pitch for the airspeed, it'll slow down by itself. That shit, this shit looks good. A little bit on the low side, but it's good. By the way, we have some uh, audience. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, uh, Gil? Uh, and UCFIs and our and Gil. Ooh. So this well, is I about perfect. Better. This is good. You know, right. You're turning final at 500 feet AGL, which is... I try and make my final turn just a nice... Oh, a nice, nice sweeping turn, yeah. Yep. People scare me when they go... Fum. I'm like, dude, but yeah. You put us into an accelerated stall, we can't recover from here. Right. I've learned... I've read about those... Wake up. So that double click we do, supposedly they don't do that anywhere else. Oh yeah? I've heard that other places. I've, um... I got a check out, he's from Nevada. Oh yeah? I did that, he's like, what did you do? I'm like, I said okay. Power out. All right, here we go. Ending number one. 
Looks good. A little off center. Or to idle. Alright. Hold it off, hold it off. Holding it off, holding it off. Very nice. A little bit high on the hold up, but by, very nice. Oh, look at this! I can make Delta! You haven't been making Delta? No! Oh! The brakes haven't let me. Well... Hey. They changed it. They're also going to be changing the star, I think. Flight 4, 6 Charlie Tango, turn left at Delta, leaving the runway, contact ground. Left at Delta, contacting ground, Light Sport 6 Charlie Tango. County Fire 12, for exchange, put your flight. I think, we, I think we put on a good show for them. That was, a good, right. that was a good one. On okay. the center line. Nice okay, and uh, controlled. Notice on the hold off though, on the last moment we kind of pulled up and then it kind of fell back little. down. We were just, and I can tell you, it's only half a foot too high. Okay. You go down oh. just half a foot more, okay. it would have been a... Okay. A, I don't, not a greaser, a roller. Okay, cool. I want a ground light, Fort Niner, Niner 6, Charlie Tango, clear of 1 Niner at Delta, taxi back for takeoff. That's 1 Niner 6, Charlie Tango, I'm going to go on with 1 Niner, taxi Alpha. Taxi via Alpha, runway 1 Niner, light, Fort 6, Charlie Tango. Yeah, we'll give that one a 9.2. Okay, cool. I'll shoot for a 10. I don't know if a 10 is doable for me just yet, but yeah. we're going to... That was good for a first landing after how, many, how long? A week? Two weeks. For two weeks. And a week and a half before that. Yeah. And one landing in between. <laughs> All right, we did that one. That was a good landing too. Cool. The the one we did, we just floated a little bit yeah. on that one because we came in a little high. But this one was nice. It's all controlled. And I think what what plays a big role is the wind is calm. In this airplane, yeah. you'd come in all perfect, and as soon as you get on top of the runway, you get hit by a gust, it's all over. It's gone. Right. Alright. I've touched down a beam, uh, just before Echo. I should have gone around, but... I was like, whatever, I'm down the middle, I'm so slow. But yeah. I had a 10 knot headwind. Yeah. I came in on... You just float, 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 just, float. They just floated, and, and I was literally just four inches on top of the runway. Like, I was... It, it looked like this. Yeah. But I was still flying. I have to make sure I do my check ride on a totally still day. <laughs> Did they break the plane? I don't know. Boy, didn't take long. I have that reputation of breaking the airplanes. Do you? I've had two flat tires in two days. Oh, yeah. Two different airplanes at two different airports. On you. Right. I used to fly this plane. Oh yeah? Was it fun? Uh, no. Like 150 horsepower, and this thing could probably outfly it. Wow. I was going 90 knots. Okay. All right. Want to try a uh, soft field? All right. So talk me through a soft field before we do this. Okay. I am going to put flaps to 15. Okay. I'm going to rotate as soon as I can. I'm going to hold it over the runway until I get to 60 knots. I'm going to hold it in ground effect, and then once I hit 60 knots, then uh, I climb out. Once I'm at... Uh, 300 feet, flaps come up. Okay. And then I pitch for 60. Okay. And never, ever, ever, ever put push the push the nose down. If it's if you're on ground effect, it starts climbing on you. Never, okay. Don't don't try to keep it down. Okay. Okay. Just you know, let it let it go. Okay. Cool. I'm on a tower, light sport niner niner six Charlie Tango, holding short of one niner at Bravo for right close traffic. Light sport niner niner six Charlie Tango, I'm on a tower, right close traffic approved, runway one niner, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway one niner, light sport six Charlie Tango. Alright, okay, nobody clear. on final? Alright, so... Oh. I saw a video of this thing on, on YouTube, they were coming in, and on short final, like, where the bridge was, the guy just opens the door. Oh, I was geez. like, you could fly with a door open. Alright, so I'm... It's off field, so... 
Keep it moving. Uh huh. Don't stop. Try to use. Don't try any brakes. Also, as soon as you put power in, don't go full aft on this because it'll just get up on you. So there you go. Full power. Go ahead. Full power. And just let put the nose right here. Just get it off the ground. Not too much. Get it off the ground. Right rudder. Get the nose down. There you go. Just leave it here. Fly here. And go straight. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Pitching for 60. At 60. Yeah, you don't want a high nose attitude. Just get the get the nose gear off. Right close, draft approved, runway one niner, clear for takeoff. Those are so much fun. Oh yeah. Never shoot out there, go light for up quick. My headset. What's up? It's not working. Oh no. It's gonna be a left. There we go. Nope. It's gonna be a loud three flights today. Uh oh. You've still got passive uh, noise canceling, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So on the on the soft field, don't let the nose go up too much okay. because. What happens is it'll pop up yeah. and then you'll just fall on top of the runway. Right. The whole point of it is just getting the nose gear off the runway. So Got it. I was taking the weight off the nose gear. Yeah, just get the weight off. Don't. Most people like to wheelie like this, and I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? I think that's the way Josh Josh had me doing it, but but I understand that it's just a matter of taking the. I'm like a dog. Helicopter 6522, Almaty Tower. Hover taxi, runway 19er, let's stand by. Hover taxi, runway 19er, stand by. 6522. Helicopter 522, hold short taxi alpha. Hold short taxi alpha, 6522. Almaty Tower, Century and 732 Whiskey Sierra, holding short of... Getting clear, did we? Yeah, I'll, no. Ready for right, let's keep going. I'll get it. Lodge 4, 6 Charlie Tango, Tango, extend downwind. 6 Charlie Tango, extending downwind. November 2, down, Delta Echo, extend downwind. Set down right, put this echo. Centurion 72, correction, Centurion 732 Whiskey Sierra, Almaty Tower. I don't know if you've noticed. Runway one, don't trust anyone from the other flight school because they don't know what they're doing. Five. Yeah, that's what I'm... The impression of it. Clear for takeoff for two whiskey Sierra. Thank you, sir. Centurion two whiskey Sierra traffic. Uh, no factor in the uh, in the pattern. Two whiskey Sierra. So I was down in the beam one time in this plane behind the Piper, and they cleared the Piper and they told me to extend downwind. Okay. I extended down into that golf course. But yeah. I thought the Piper was all the way in already. I turned base, guess what I see? A Piper just fill up the windscreen. Oh, great. Negative. I was like, you're cleared all the way over there. What the hell are you doing all the way here? Six Charlie Tango over the racetrack. Number six Charlie Tango, continue down one. Charlie yeah, they have two departures leaving. Yeah, I know. And I think the Centurion's an IFR, that's why. Helicopter 522, upper taxi. Can I circle? Taxiway Alpha, hold short, runway 19 or at we'll just try to go to the 210 and then we'll turn. To the left? That will go right. Hold short, runway 19 or at Charlie. Helicopter 522, amend instructions. Taxiway Alpha Southbound, clear for takeoff. Okay. Winds 1, 9 or 0 at 5. Life Sports 6, Tango turn base. Turning base, 6 Charlie Tango. November 2, Whiskey Sierra. Contact okay. departure. Getting a terrain warning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's your app. I've never seen number that before. Two Delta Echo, your number 2, traffic follows. Uh, Life Sports, report traffic to site. 
Number two, looking for traffic. This is Echo. Number two, Delta Echo. Traffic's one o'clock, two miles, 1,300 turning base. Where is he? Number two, uh, looking for traffic. This is Echo. Lift the wing up a little bit. Nope. Don't see him. I'll put on my position lights. Okay. Would be nice to have landing lights. Yeah, no kidding. Charlie Tango, turning final. Number 6, Charlie Tango, roger, runway 19 er cleared for the option, wind 200 F5. Clear for the option, runway 19 er light for 6, Charlie Tango. Okay. Number 2, Delta Echo, turn base. Pacific base, for the Tango. Okay, so a helicopter took off before us. They leave a nasty rotor wash. Right. So that's something you watch out for. Oh, it'll be a while before I'm there. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. Give it a little bit more and then I will start my landing. Let's go. Number two, Delta Echo, report when you have traffic inside. Traffic's on a two and a half mile final straight in. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Should looking to this echo. Where is he? He should be behind Number us. Number two, Delta Echo, square your turn and down. Yeah, he's gonna cut the turn and overtake us. Okay, 26, of course now I'm high. Fix that. Remember, a good approach leads to a good landing. Yep. Or a good, a good landing comes from a good approach. Right. Now this should be fine. If I have to, I can slip this. Yeah, you'll make it, you're good. Also, a good thing we kept the speed up, because I think the guy cut the, cut the turn to final behind us. Yeah. That, that's why the tower had to remind him. So, that's a good thing. The only problem with the haze. Alright, number two. Now I'm starting to sink. There you go. The power for altitude. Yep. Helicopter 6522, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, 6522. November 2, Delta Echo, runway 19 er cleared for the option, traffic short final. Here's the option, runway 19 er to the Echo. I'm constantly trying to tell myself right now that we're straight, because it looks like we're going that yeah. way. Yeah. And I look, no, I feel straight. like we're going the other way. Oh, no, we're good, we're straight, we're straight, this is good. There you go, right here. Just wait, just let her settle. Pull there we back go. a little bit more. Just let her settle. A little hard. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's do a touch and go. Okay. I learned a new trick. You know how the wheels keep spinning and they vibrate the plane? Yeah, you pull the brakes. Yeah. I didn't know about that one until I read that. Oh, you can do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't know about that one until I flew at Rami. And he knew it? Yeah, Rami was pulling the... He, I thought he pulled the throttle, so I looked down and I was like... 6 Charlie Tango, right close, traffic proof. Right close, traffic proof, 6 Charlie Tango. That's a job craft information, Bravo current, wind 1904, visibility 8. Ceiling 2100 overcast, temperature 22, 2.17, altimeter 299 or 2. I know why it's not climbing fast enough. Why? Number one, well, we have full tanks. Yeah. Number two, I have a good 40, 50 pounds on Josh. True. And probably 150 pounds on me flying by myself. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm 183. Yeah. So 183. Yeah. <laughs> Number two down to Echo, turn left, taxiway, Echo, contact ground. You don't look like 183. Oh, it is. Number two down to Echo, exiting the... Your girlfriend must keep you well fed. My, um, 
when I was in college a year ago, I was 140. Oh, I gained 43 pounds after college. Your mom must be kept keeping you fed. Oh yeah, because you know, in college we were, the fridge is always empty. I come home, yeah. I was like, there's groceries. Okay, so if you look at that runway, it looks like we're kind of creeping up to it. Just yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Runway 19 are clear for the option, wind 190 at 6. Clear for the option, runway 19, like 46 Charlie, can go. Yeah, I just was uh, trying to get a little closer. Okay, fair enough. Because uh. I climbed out farther than I did, so I knew it was going to keep me farther away. Uh-huh. So, that last landing, that was very nice, coming in, coming in, coming in. And notice at the last moment, it was went up and then down. Yeah. Yeah, I just flared a little too hard. Which is understandable. I do the same thing. Yeah. That's why the, that this is what makes this plane very tricky. But, you know. But you know how it looks from outside? Yeah. It looks like a perfect landing from oh, really? outside. Cool. Yeah. Oh, stick and rudder. All right. All right. base. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be our last one. Okay. This is perfect. It's a... Uh... Their third time's a charm, right? Yep. And it's given me three landings. Uh-huh. To get more comfortable again. I can go solo again. Yeah. If the weather ever clears. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I like huh? to, I like to make this turn like like how you do it, just sweeping. Yeah. And if I if I roll out and it's uh it's perfect, I'm always like yes, in the glove. I don't like pushing the envelope on final. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to find stuff out on final. You learn up in the when you have a sky. Yep. All right. I always slip on these seats. But I like the cushions. All right, this looks nice. Almost idle, not quite. I will go to just barely. Get the numbers. Beautiful. Nope. Keep coming down. And about right here. Leave it here. Yep, I got it. He's good. He likes it here. Nice! Down the middle, too. Look at that. And you made Delta. Right. Yay, I can make Delta. Woohoo! Boy. And I'll put the AC on. 546 Charlie Tango, turn left, taxiway Delta, contact ground. Left of Delta, contact ground, light sports, 6 Charlie Tango, good day. That was nice. Thanks. Those are three good landings. And you did something, you did something that uh, everyone like has trouble with this airplane, is putting it on the center line. Oh yeah? Cool. You and Rami are the only people that can do it. We've got a lot of practice. Yeah. Alright. Repeat off. Uh, radios, flaps. Trimmed for takeoff. Omani Ground, Light Sport Niner Niner Six Charlie Tango, clear of one Niner at Delta. Taxi back for takeoff. Or uh, sorry, uh, back to SoCal. Light Sport Niner Niner Six Charlie Tango, Omani Ground. Taxi to SoCal via Alpha. Good day. Taxi via Alpha. Light Sport Six Charlie Tango. Good day. That was a fun flight. Yeah, thanks. Boy, it is running nice. Yeah. And running the brakes like are so awesome.